Finally, four kilometres away, Rod can resume the hunt for Opal alone. Ploughboys is still kicking our ass like it always does. We were expecting to find a lot of money there and we haven't. I'm just going to have to test these belts before I go underground. They flipped off on us the other day, so I just got to test them. No good. See, what's happened is this belt here keeps twisting. See, it's the wrong way. It'll twist and then pop the other belts off. I can't get any more of these belts. They're waiting for them to come into Australia. Does it ever stop? Brand new gear and we're still having troubles with it. The blower's belts turn a huge extraction fan which sucks up waste dirt from the underground mine and drops it into a waiting dump truck. The problem with not having me blower going is I can only get so much dirt on the ground. Once I get a great big pile of dirt on the ground, you can't move down there. I got Les out. I got the problem of not finding the, any opal to hit our season target. We're way behind on that. It just keeps building up on you. One thing after another, after another. You, you solve one problem and the next one comes along. You know, and that's what it's been like here in Ploughboys. All right, let's find the old fella some opal. If in doubt, rip it out. With a mystery illness forcing his mining partner, Les, to see a doctor, Rod is single-handedly trying to resurrect the Bushman's season. We're at the sharp end at the moment. We really have to find something. Shut up, look what was in there. It's where you miss the second person, you know. I've got to keep walking up here and checking that I'm not busting anything up. Blower's broken down, Les is broken down, and we're way off our season target. I'm pretty worried that Les might be sort of come to the end of his run. He's not been himself. He is. You know, in his mid-70s. Righto. He's had a hard life, you know, and that hard life, I guess, is going to catch up with you sooner or later. Let's see what's there. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, got to have a good look. The old fella will get up me if I don't. It's got nothing in him. I've been following this big fold all the way down through here, and it's just been looking better and better. And I reckon where these two faults were going to meet, I'd hit it, and they're just starting to meet. I'm going to take that. That's what I'm going to get now. Yeah, let's see what we got here. A little bit of colour there. Oh, there's another good bit. Look. Oh, look at that bit. Dark base too. Colour right through it. Oh, there's more. Look. Again, colour goes all around him. I'm onto a few bob here. This is bloody good. I don't think this is going to be the retirement patch, but it's a good patch. That's beautiful. I come down here dragging me ass because the blowers stopped. And then I've put one push into the wall and hit opal. You know, that's how quick your luck can change. Oh, ho, ho, there it is. It's big and it's cheesy. Look at that. Look at that. Everything that's gone wrong, and then I'm finally finding a bit of decent colour. There's a few dollars in this. That's a beautiful piece of colour there. You know, the old fella, he's crook as. And you're showing this bit of colour, you're going to be happy as. It's been a bugger of a week for me. Been to the doctors two or three times. Oh. Finally found out what's wrong with me, but they don't seem to know at the moment. Go on, up you get. After multiple blood tests, doctors have cleared Les to go back to work, but they still don't know what's causing his aching joints. Hopefully these pills they got off the dock, kill all the most of the pain off. Nigel. How you going, Les? 
Good mate, so. All right, how you feeling? Yeah, not too bad. Well, I've got something here might brighten your day up a bit, old fella. Oh, yeah, that looks good. It's all right, doesn't it? Oh, that's a nice piece, all right. Have a look at this. Oh, that looking good. Just rubbed it up to try and add yeah. a bit of value. Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. I reckon we might have a couple of dollars, Les. Yeah. Well, we need to put a value on it, Les. I don't know what you think. I reckon maybe 20, 25. No, no, no. No reckon? I reckon it's worth more than that. I'd go for 30 and stick. We'll go up and see the buyer now, and uh, I reckon it's worth 30, and if he doesn't come up with 30, I think he can off. We'll go and see this Brian and see if we can get a few dollars for this, eh, Les? Yeah, I reckon it'd be a good idea. I hope he hasn't got short arms today. <laughs> Five kilometres away lives local buyer, Brian Gray. How you going, mate? Yeah, I'm well. Got a bit of stuff for you to have a look at. Oh, all right, eh? The Bushman's parcel is medium value crystal opal. Blue, green and gold in colour. It's in the rough, with a few pieces lightly rubbed. And it weighs approximately 900 grams. Yeah, some of it's pretty good, isn't it? You know it's beautiful and you know you want it, so let's just get into it, eh? What fortune are you, are you sort of asking for? If you can't come to at least 30, I... 30? Might as well pack up and go home. Jesus. Get your arms growing a bit and get into them deep pockets. Oh, well, sure. Yeah, see, normally I'd do all the negotiating because the old fella generally gives it away. You know it's worth that. You'll double your money on it. There must have been a couple of stones in there he really liked, and the old fella sort of picked up on that, I think. I'll tell you what I'll do, because you're an old friend, 20. No way. No way. 30 years, I'll take it home. I'm bleeding here. He's going to pick it up and take it home if, if you don't come to the price. Yeah, well, you know... Like, we know you want it. 25, and we've got it done. No, no. 28 and a half is the lowest I'll come down to. 28 and a half's a good price for this. You know it is. Shake hands on it. 28. And 28, a half. 28 and, and a half. half. 28 and a half. That's it. Done deal. Good. <laughs> Next time, <laughs> leave him at home. Pig's ass. $28,500 is a shot in the arm for the Bushman's lagging season. With half going to mine owners, the Hutchisons, Rod and Les get $14,250.